All right, we've got DST uh, and WX going ahead and uh, intermingling for this game. This is live, so I don't have complete time. We have uh, Napoleon as Germany. It looks like Balthazar was um, Italy. And uh, I believe EXO is Spain. So we have Napoleon, Balth, EXO. And uh, the Allied team, I believe Salin is Russia. And uh, I don't know the rest. I do not know the rest. So let's see when they start this. Uh, all right, so I was right. Salin, Russia, Bobo, UK. We have Delacroix, Jerry as Norway, and Waffen as France. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. Uh, immediate uh, Belgium hold. France pulls his, uh, his Marines in this situation, so something to note. And uh, oh, moving the BCs to the front really early. This is extremely early here uh, by Napoleon. Take a look. He, uh, he knocks out all four bunkers in the whole front wall uh, with, that, with that quick uh, west and the quick uh, Algiers. So in response, Russia's going fast. So it looks like he's going to get some top pressure uh, over this uh, German bunker right here. Uh, what you want to do when you see bunkers like this is you want to be able to go uh, to the north of them here and be able to, to pressure them down. But uh, here, uh, Italy's two well flanked tanks and ghosts at the bottom and a nice uh, bunker wall that only one bunker goes down. All right, Algiers. Uh, France did a big hold. Okay, so that's a lot what he's just taken out. This is an Algiers hold. And let's take another look. He's an Algiers hold with a mini France attack. So let's see how this turns out. So he, uh, he must have saw about how effective Napoleon was in knocking out his bunkers. And France is just like, okay, I'm, uh, I'm hightailing it out of here. And at least I'm going to try to control it another part of the map. So the Spain attack gets crushed. Uh, we have 64 kills right now. He's not going to be picking. He's going to pick it up a little bit more. So let's see. He might even have an 80 kill hold here, and he is going to be getting some uh, some Marines killed down here, and might be able to protect his Goliath trigger. Uh, he has a Goliath trigger that spawns right there, and uh, if he can control this uh, African territory, uh, he might be able to uh, to use those bunkers. So immediately Germany goes uh, to hit Algiers. And there's nothing that can stop them at this point. They're just taking out buildings. The uh, the army... Oh, the army is gone. So, uh, it's in total an 84 kill hold. 85, there you go. Still a couple of resistance fighters fighting there. But in this time, uh, as Russia, you almost always want to be attacking uh, if you see uh, Germany going, uh, going right away to Algiers. Uh, he's probably waiting for a special type of... Uh, uh, of attack as you can see Salen he's got 266 over 200 now normally again I would have attacked just right there but he's probably more organized and uh, let's uh, let's see okay classic classic Waffen France is uh, is using his scouts to uh, try to delay the take of France and he's d delaying income when he's able to do this now uh, doing this as France is actually very smart because you don't actually you don't need a lot of micro to be able to take this industry and some of these uh, some of these bunkers here, and uh, a good player should be able to do both. So right that right there is is worth an incredible a lot. Now it might be a little bit dangerous to go get this one. So now Germany will get it. Just take a look. Goes ahead, gets the industry. So now it's too late. So now France has to abandon this, and uh, only if Norway had a had a big drop. But he doesn't have a drop. He's going east, and we're going to see what this this does. Uh, let's go with the Norway. Uh, he uh, he's going to be going and taking the northern position here. So I wouldn't be showing. Italy what you're doing because he doesn't know if you're going east or if you're going drop so there's still the question so I guess it wasn't alerted because Germany's still keeping troops here okay now 
does have the air for it, but uh, deciding to go hard with Russia. In the meantime, let's take a look at what Spain's doing. A couple of fire uh, fire baths and second barracks built. Taking this first barracks and going to land it right here. As you can see, he's already cleared up the island. There was a bunker uh, with two men and it's already been cleared out so he's free to put this barracks right here and start producing men you don't need to worry about drops and uh, you just hotkey that as uh, zero or nine or something like that and uh, easy way to get men and all, you, all you have to do is remember to bring your air there and possibly call for some German messers so we have this is going to be a great spread because of Norway's presence letting the BC's go getting the Italian air in return but uh, not a great trade for Russia but He's just more focused about getting all his troops into this. So very nice uh, SCV amount here. Great BC positioning. All they have to do is just hold just hold this line. There's no not enough ground anymore. They were able to get a little bit of penetration uh, down towards the bottom. That's because you don't have this line of bunkers in BC shooting you. So smart to take the uh, the tanks away. And uh, it's going to need those for another attack if, uh, if and when this bunker line is going to get reinforced. I imagine they're going to add at least another two bunkers to this bunker line. But we're going to have to see. Uh, with that, uh, Axis can be a little bit more aggressive. So France trying to disturb the med take. So that is very unique. Uh, it's going to be disastrous, though, for him. To look at all of these drops, all he was trying to do was prevent this med take. And uh, Axis Air was already in great position. Just uh, tried being a little bit, a little bit aggressive there, and unfortunately, uh, it's going to pay the ultimate price of losing all dropships uh, here so early in the game. So it does have this Star Airport right here that um, he can destroy and use the add-on to build dropships. So we're going to look for him to do that uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, focus should be though uh, putting some penetration here on Africa. Uh, UK did a good job clearing that. Should be taking the BCs. Oh, looks like one of the, one of them is not there. Must have died. Taking this BC, yamming one of the bunkers, and then following up with some tanks to hit it. So uh, good job, Waff, taking these out. Doesn't put the uh, doesn't put the scout the scout either. Some people like putting marines. Other people like putting uh, supply depots. Just give you a little bit of advance warning if scouts uh, Spain's going to drop. Here for a Wells or Middle East drop. So just has the one SCV. Oh, here, Micromenus tanks. Italy responding. Well, let's see. Just, uh, trying to do damage but Italy just has too many troops there and is attentive to heal so these tanks can't take these shots forever it doesn't look right this second that they have enough troops to uh, to do anything there so Russia going box Italy's prepared for this uh, had a bunker out and a good amount of troops there to stuff the tanks and following that up with tanks of his own and Russia very smartly backs off of that picked up two bunkers and might get a third here if, uh, if he gets this one, that's a very successful attack. So I'm curious. Three, two, one. Just got it. Boom. So very nice micro wing there. We've got France calling down. He's calling that Italian BCs are in Africa. So when you see Italian BCs, you can't really be doing a full force attack with your, uh, with your, your tanks exposed. Generally, you want to try, if you're going to try to hit that, you want to have some uh, uh, offensive air in, uh, on your side and uh, use the, uh, the drops in combination. But uh, France here doesn't have the drops, and uh, so it doesn't have very many options other than staying behind these two bunker lines and waiting for these BCs to leave. Could focus on taking Africa. Kind of difficult. Could also go east. So we have uh, a little bit of action here, uh, getting ready for the Oslo trigger. I already cleared a lot of the mines out. That's uh, quite a bit of air uh, for the uh, allies. But Germany takes the engage at a very smart place. Norway not able to break the, the already defenses that were there. 
quickly enough. Uh, was able to take a pretty convincing lead. That's, uh, that's really good news for the Axis. You need these early wins to be able to propel yourself for a place to win, you know, for a chance to win the game. Uh, we haven't seen where uh, Spain's going to go as of yet. It already has the, uh, the Ireland. So he's got drops here. Going to pick up Ireland as well, probably to make him join these ones. It looks like they're definitely positioning for uh, UK, which, wow, that is some amazing, amazing defenses. I think if he goes Norway, then uh, then uh, Russia's going to attack. Wow, they're going in. You have to have the BCs focus fire in here. Focus fire those those bunkers. Make sure the BCs are safe from the RAF. And wow, just because that was a large enough do drop, two, four, six, eight, nine drops. Uh, Norway's frequent—I mean, Spain's frequently dropped with uh, seven dropships, but uh, you know, that amount of bunkers would have stuffed seven dropships. But with uh, with nine, then uh, they look—he pulled uh, he pulled Ireland as well. It's just that was a pretty big drop for that time, and uh, it's going to be really effective. Brought five SCVs. I think he's going to try bunking it. Let's see. Got to build before two. So just going to go for the storage depot there. Going for missile turret. Okay. So it is going to start putting some defenses there. Oh, I think this is a little probing attack. Yeah. It's looking to cause uh, access to uh, react to them. Don't want to get caught out with their army though. If Axis take a full swing at them, they might be able to take them out. Not a lot of wrath to uh, dissuade them. Now it looks like they're poking. They're just each poking each other. Got mind games going on. First bunker built. Got to take this city. Got to take this city. So not really enough to stop a full full on drop, but we have Norway mostly going east. They did have a drop before, but they lost some of it. And it looks like the players are agreeing that uh, this is the end. You ally access for the win here. You're taking that convincingly, won the air battle, had a big messer advantage. Constantly fighting over Oslo. Uh, good effective pressure there from the Axis. And I'm curious for some of the scores, so I am going to wait uh, for uh, Waff in the drop. Thanks, buddy. So he uh, he was France and uh, really uh, tried making a little bit of a tricky play. Dropped uh, dropped the Mediterranean island well before normally Italian and German air is supposed to be there, and it was just a bit of bad luck. That uh, that a whole bunch of messers were there, and uh, Salon, uh he did some good rushes. He had got some big uh, some big unit uh, amounts, but uh, just wasn't able to, uh, to break completely. And, uh, oh, looks like I was disconnected. Let's see, do I get stats? We get stats, and. Uh, Great points for Germany there. I nice saw 200 APM units. Yeah, great spread for Germany there. Just effective use of his units. Solid on both. Almost got the two two to one advantage. And Salin, like uh, you know, that is a good amount of kills for uh, for Russia. Is a decent amount. Built the most units. All right. Private Cell, casting World War II Allied Final.